Okay, this is the final video, and you're going to put the crayon poles on the playground so that it protects whoever is playing on this from falling off any of these edges. So we're going to put crayon poles here, on the corners, all across here. You can see in a final version, it's just protecting all the little gaps. So I'll do a few, uh, and then they it's all repetitive, so you can continue to do the same thing. So I'm going to bring in a crayon pole. Pull. I can bring in a few. Escape if I need, well, I'll definitely need more, but um, so I'm going to first constrain the bottom using the arrow. So constrain, and let's try to put one right here on this corner. So I'm going to constrain it to the main platform. I hit apply, then I'm going to use tangent and outside. So first I'll choose the outside of the crayon pole and then this side of the main platform. I'm going to offset it. So I have to think about this like in almost like an XY coordinate system. Um, if I want it just a little bit in, I could choose maybe like negative four. So that's like right, right on the edge, maybe negative five. And then hit apply. So if I close that, you'll notice that it moves back and forth this way, but if I try to go this way, it's not going to because it's constrained to that side, meaning that if I want to stop it from going this way, then I need to constrain it to that side. So I'm going to use tangent again, and we'll just constrain it to the outside edge here. And then this time it's going to be different. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna, I'll do negative five. So negative five, negative five gets me like kind of right there on that corner. I'm fine with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and I hit apply, close. And then now this thing does not move around when it's on the platform. So now I'm gonna continue. So constrain and constrain the bottom of another one using the arrow to the main platform, apply, tangent, and this one will be on the edge here. So last time I did negative five, so I'll do the same this way, negative five, so that they're lined up, apply. But this time from here, if that's negative five this way, then maybe the next one is negative seven. Way too close. Let's try 10. So going in increments of 5. Sure. Apply. Close. Now I have two next to each other. I might put two more here and then I'm going to put some here. Um, but let me do the tri platform as well. So that's how the ones on the main platform work. Constrain. We'll use the arrow again on the bottom to the top of the tri platform. And the tri platform I would just constrain using tangent to these two edges. Uh, so like this one first, we'll do, uh, hold on, I don't know if I went in the right sequence. So tangent outside to the crayon and then here. And let's say I'm trying to put it like here. So maybe negative, well, I want to give you an example of one that's like maybe like in the middle there on that diagonal. So maybe negative, that was negative five, maybe negative 20. So it brings it up to here, apply. Then I need to constrain it to the other side here. And this might be, let's try negative 30. It's a pretty good guess. I want it closer to the edge, so maybe 34. And that I think is too far. It's like hanging off a little bit. So 32. That's pretty good. So I'll hit apply. And then cool. So that one's stuck there. And then I just kind of keep placing. Like the next one might be, um, since it's a diagonal, they're both going to change. Like the next one I would do is maybe negative, if that was 20, then maybe further down would be like. 15, 
but I need to go over further since it's further down the diagonal, so maybe like negative 15 from this edge, but then from that edge it would be like negative 35 or something, and then it might be right here. So you just have to play around with them, and then you'll eventually get it um, where everything's lined up, it's stuck together, and your playground is safe.